Hi friends, as a Christian content creator myself, I use AI technology to help me create meaningful and impactful content that really spreads a message of positivity. So if you're a Christian content creator and you also want to create content but are unsure exactly how you should use AI, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how I use AI as a tool that helps me create, not a tool that creates for me. I'm Danielle Kimmy Torres, former Christian singer turned entrepreneur and marketer. I was always afraid of artificial intelligence. To tell you the truth, I was kind of hoping it wasn't going to come about in my lifetime. Cue all the scary 90s movies about it. Come on! I was afraid because there are just so many unknowns and there still are, but here's where I may have been wrong. I have always wanted to share my thoughts on YouTube, just like I'm doing with you all today. And previous to AI, I dabbled in it. I would start making videos and then stop making videos. And it just felt like with my day job, my side businesses and being a mom of four, there wasn't enough time to get it all done in one day until AI happened. Before AI was released to the market, I would have needed a, a whole team of video editors. I would have needed a content team. I would have needed a lot of things if I wanted to remain consistent sharing my thought leadership. But now that process has become much quicker and what used to take me weeks to deliver a video that I was even a little bit happy about, now I can do this quickly and efficiently, and it helps me to remain consistent. If you're like me and you want to do multiple things at the same time, but you also want to build your thought leadership online, I believe AI can help you do that. AI helps you to connect with a much wider audience than was previously possible. And even though your message, like mine, might not be completely faith-based, meaning that I'm not just teaching out of the Bible every week. I believe that people like you and me have messages of positivity, messages that glorify God and keep Him first, and these are the messages that we need more of. By using AI, I'm able to automate so many of the tasks that before were very manual, like content creation, caption writing, and even editing and enhancing videos. This allows me to focus more on the message I share with my viewers and not all those little tasks that often get in the way and are so time consuming. Now I am not talking about letting AI completely write your message. We've all heard horror stories of pastors using ChatGPT to write their entire Sunday sermon. I want you to know that's not what I'm talking about. I believe in using AI as a tool to help you get where you need to be, not something that thinks for you. And it's certainly not divine inspiration. I don't want to get my inspiration from an algorithm. However, I do want to use the tools that we all have available to us in 2024 to advance the things that I feel passionate about. Doesn't that sound great? So let's talk about it. What is the most difficult part of your individual creative process? Can you think about it? There are many different zones and modes of creation. And I'm gonna outline a four-step creative process in this video that I believe really describes what creation feels like. And then I'm gonna show you how utilizing ChatGPT can help you with each step of creation. Stage one is the preparation and incubation stage. I believe the preparation stage is really more about preparing yourself than it is preparing your art. This is the zone where we fight procrastination. And procrastination often happens because of anxiety. I actually experience this often and it's usually because there are so many unknowns when it comes to a particular project that I don't know where to start. It's so overwhelming and so I procrastinate. The other major reason for procrastination is just that we are afraid that our project is gonna suck. So we don't get started. A quick way to fight this procrastination and get directly into the zone of creation is to waste some time just chatting to ChatGPT about your subject. So you're not asking it to create for you. What you're doing is you're just talking to ChatGPT about what do you think about this? What are some of the popular ways of going about XYZ? 
And as you talk about it, things start to germinate in your brain. You start to get fresh ideas. You start to think about your subject matter in a deeper way. And all of a sudden, that project that you're working on seems much more palatable and much more doable. So you just want to work it out with ChatGPT and then spend some time just letting those thoughts your thoughts germinate in your head. Personally, I like to do this process a couple of days before I actually sit down to create something. The next stage is stage two, and that's illumination. Illumination is such a fun part of this process. It's where your imagination is going, you have multiple ideas, and they all sound very exciting. However, these ideas can start to compete in your mind, and they're kind of battling it out for first that becomes overwhelming. Because if you're a one-man show like me, or you have a very small team, then you're not gonna only need to imagine these things, you're gonna need to make them a reality. And that's where it can get tough. So instead of spending too much time figuring out which ideas you need to chase, you can actually copy and paste all of your ideas, input them into ChatGPT, and ask ChatGPT to determine your list of priorities. I created a GPT for my personal brand, which stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. And I have it set on private, so I can actually talk to this GPT and it does not share the rest of my ideas with the internet, which is great. But here's what my personal brand's GPT had to say about its capabilities to help me in the illumination phase. Stage three is evaluation. Once you've created a piece of content, you can actually send it directly through ChatGPT and ask it to evaluate your content. The GPT, especially if you've already input your target audience data, and if you don't know who your target audience is, I'm going to link a video right up here and then also in the comments to help you find that out. Once you know who your target audience is, you can input that into the GPT you build and it will help you always create relevant content for that particular target audience. Then when you input your data, it's gonna help you evaluate how clear your message is, audience relevance, storytelling elements, if they're clear and compelling, your call to action, and your visual and emotional appeal. Stage five is implementation. At this stage, you've already uploaded your creative content. So now ChatGPT can get really creative. You are going to ask ChatGPT to create a caption to help you share it on each of the platforms you wanna share on. This can be long form content for LinkedIn, personal content for Instagram and Facebook. It can be a short quip for Twitter or a Gen Z friendly caption for TikTok. Not only that, it can actually help you to create multiple captions for each platform. And it does it just like this. These are just a few of the ways that you can utilize AI tools and ChatGPT to take advantage of artificial intelligence without being owned by it or without it creating for you. Some may question the use of technology like this in Christian content, but for me, AI is simply a tool that helps me spread a positive message in a more efficient and effective way, but also allows me to innovate and stay relevant in a digital age. When TV was invented, it helped us to spread God's message all over the airwaves. Same thing with radio, same thing with social media. And now we get to utilize AI to do that very same thing. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Next week, I'll be releasing another video on the three top ways that I utilize AI other than ChatGPT to create faith-based content. Check out some of these other videos that I have, how you can build a purpose-filled personal brand. I'll see you next time.